in medical school you don't learn any leadership skills. There's no classes on leadership as part of that. So we were new at these positions and hadn't really had any experience or training in it and had talked with my president about if anything comes up for leadership opportunities, let me know. And a couple weeks later, got an email from you guys and got accepted in this program. So that was my goal with coming here, mm -hmm. to really learn more leadership skills. But I think it's, for me, it's far exceeded that in the time I've been part of the uh, physician psychiatrist development leadership program. For me, I have, uh, to some degree, in community mental health care, especially with something like Spurwink, which comes out of child welfare, more than mental health, psychiatry has been sort of marginalized. And for me, I've just had the opportunity to really come on, I think, an equal footing with the other leadership of Spurwink and to have my voice heard and my ideas about clinical programs and development heard. And I'm not sure before this program if I would have had the skills or the confidence to be able to do that. As part of this pro the psychiatrist leadership development program, we have all had to develop a project that we work over the year of our class. I learned that having an effective leadership team isn't necessarily picking who's maybe the most knowledgeable for a particular area, but maybe has the most personality skills, for example, to help that project go forward. So with my project, I picked people, and I, wouldn't have, I would have not known to do this before. I would have gone for the people that could have had the best knowledge base. Instead, I picked people that had knowledge base, but also had the personality and the, just the type of person that could really drive this, this project through, because it's a big one for us. In community psychiatry, and at Spurwink in particular, because we do mostly residential treatment as opposed to outpatient treatment, you're an outpatient treatment to, to some degree, but you're really part of a team, and you're not even to say leader of that team, which you would be in a hospital for the most part. It's very medically run, sort of top-down psychiatrist is in charge. Um, it's more egalitarian in a community mental health center, which I like and which works. And everyone brings their own skill set to it, so I think we're able to pull the best from every person in order to be most helpful to, we see specifically kids, so kids and families. And before being part of the psychiatric development leadership program, it wouldn't even occur to me to go to Capitol. Before this job at Spurwink, it wouldn't have occurred to me to, I mean, the occasional letter to my representative in Maine but nothing certainly beyond that. So the reason I'm here is as part of the, this program that I'm part of, the leadership development program. But part of that is to hopefully train us and teach us to be better advocates for our patients. The big switch between what I used to do, which is very focused on sort of one individual patient, and you would advocate for that patient no matter what the cost sort of the community at large, because that was your patient. Now being part of this and moving more into an administrative advocacy role, my views had to very much broaden, so I've had a look at how can I influence and be effective at moving the system forward as opposed to having the system that I'm involved in be effective for one particular kid. Spurwink has been incredibly supportive of this whole endeavor. They were the ones that sent the application to me in the first place, and they have been, I think, very almost like a proud parent and have released a news a um, little news blur both to the local papers in Maine as well as the Spurink newsletter about me being part of this. So they're very excited I'm part of this. They, I think, have really looked to me now to take more of a leadership role at Spurwink. So I can completely support it by my organization for doing this. We're at like an unprecedented times right now with parity and medical reform the future I just see is this wide vistas where who knows where it's going to go. So there's so many opportunities, especially I think to be a physician and be part of these opportunities as you look at it, accountable care organizations and integration of real medical and behavioral health. So I think I can really be effective being part of that and moving spurring towards that.